Hello my friends and welcome back to another episode of the Reborn 13 podcast with the Genie and in today's episode I firstly want to begin by giving you guys some news. Now the Genie is no longer bullish on XRP because the Genie is super <laughs> <laughs> bullish on XRP because of what is continually unfolding in this month of June. Now, if you have not seen my previous podcasts up until this point where I have already covered so much news in this month of June and you have to remember that June is just one month of one year and I am disregarding everything before that but if you have not seen those podcasts make sure now that you pause here and you go and watch all of my previous XRP videos because you are going to need to see the size of what is actually going on of the dribs and drabs of the little moves the little pieces to the puzzle which are all come together which they're slowly releasing out to us behind the scenes which they don't want you to know so make sure you come and watch all of these videos because if if you haven't done so this video isn't going to be as bullish and but if you have done so it's going to be so insanely bullish that it's about to blow your mind now why is that because we are going to be covering some more events key events might i say which have been unfolding just since the last time i revealed to you so much of the news which was already unfolding and it's actually so much that it has blown my mind now i think i have nearly 20 tabs open or so ready and waiting for you and that is just in the past few days where this has all been going down and which they don't want you to know about because it is just being given to us here, given to us there. They want your attention to be steered away on the coins that have no relevance like Bitcoin, like all these other coins of past which have been the shining stars but now it is all shifting so my friends if you are excited make sure right now that you smash that like button down below because i promise you you're not going to be disappointed with everything that is coming up so without further ado we're gonna get straight into it now really quickly my friends in this disclaimer all views are my own when it comes to what is taking place with the financial system and the events that are unfolding i am just giving you my view upon it and we with that there is absolutely no financial advice contained in this video i'm purely giving you my perspective therefore you have to make that decision on your financials so my friends because i am sure you are now very very excited we are going to move straight into this one now before we do i want to bring you over to the xrp chart just because it looks so good right now as you can see we have held on this week pretty much we got two days left but this candle is looking super bullish because like i've shown you before this resistance has now turned support and now we are holding and if we hold this weekly candle above this region here about 57 cents then it is extremely bullish for the coming weeks so keep an eye out my friends because xrp is on the rise but time for the news let's do this so we are beginning here with one of the genie tweets himself i said how anyone can be salty at the current state of the crypto market is beyond me rare is the opportunity to invest in assets which will inevitably make you rich beyond conception in the coming months and years future you will thank you now tremendously for your perseverance don't give up and I got a reply from a follower with Mr. Donald Trump and an interview from him back obviously around the 90s whenever it was and I just want to play you this short clip because the genie found it fascinating. No, I, I think one of the reasons I really succeeded and bigger than even in the 80s is the fact that it, it's a little word called perseverance. I didn't stop. It's um, quite a little word actually. It's a long word come to think of it, but I didn't stop. 
and I, I did persevere. I went against a lot of odds and I came up with a phrase. Perseverance, where have we heard of that word before? Mr. Bearable Guy, one, two, three. Against all odds, the phoenix will rise from the ashes of destruction and shock the world. Right, so we're coming here next, Basel III, because this is an integral shift that is very close to occurring. As you can see, by the 1st of Jan 2022, all major economies will be NSFR compliant, which some say should mean the end of large-scale manipulation of gold price through paper trading. Basel III, as you can see, it begins in Europe. You then have America on July, Swiss, July, Japan, India, UK and Russia and China are already compliant. This is huge, my friends, because the end of manipulation of the gold market is the end of an era and a new beginning of gold trading. And you know what that means for the phoenix and the rise of the new economy. On the Basel III note, we have here Basel III gold and the dollar and the Great Reset. Now, this was very interesting. Again, I want to quickly read it to you. This could well be a turning point. So expect huge volatility in the run up. That could be a permanent change in in the landscape on how the oldest and still the benchmark of precious metals is valued. Now, this is key because what is happening now with the gold market in Basel III is all occurring around the same time that Flair is launching, around the same time that this SEC case is starting to give us more clarity. And you also have PolySign sitting on the sidelines. You have Codius sitting there ready. And you have all of these other big players who are about to launch. And yet they haven't even told you because they're going to do it out the blue. It's going to be sudden out of nowhere and that DeFi economy is going to birth like nothing before. Now let's keep this going again on the subject of gold and the shift of power from west to east. Those of you who know, know 28th of June, it's coming very soon. There is no turning back for London. <laughs> The BIS do implement on 20th of June, then there is a possibility that gold price could initially dip. What are we seeing? It is all playing out, my friends, those who know. No, but let's keep this going because this just gets even better. Deutsche Bank re-enters payment space in joint venture with Pfizer V. Pfizer V is a Ripple partner and Deutsche Bank has tested XRP. Now, if you remember this from here, who remembers when Deutsche Bank released this document mentioning XRP as a settlement mechanism alongside SWIFT. The digital infrastructure can offer institutional grade safety and potential for new revenue sources and competitive dynamics. Now you can see this is a Deutsche Bank article. This was released in 2019. And you can see right here, Settler XRP, a quarter settler intermediates settlement finality. It is all in the works. Hence an alternative future could see an ecosystem participants reordering the industry structure DLT in particular core capabilities deliver further efficiencies creating visible new values for clients. The digital infrastructure can offer institutional grade safety which introduces new revenue sources. The mass adoption of digitized methods. Friends, let's keep this going. Central bank digital currencies get full BIS backing now. The Bank of International Settlements is the head of the head and as you can see here the train has left the station, said Benoit Coure of the BIS, referring to the move towards central bank digital currencies and its support. It's not that we are getting carried away. We are just looking around. Now, if you've seen my previous podcast, I would have already shown you that video of Benoit Coure talking about how there is a huge push towards central bank digital currencies. And that was back in Davos in 2020. So this has been in the works for some time. Now, same again, the Bank of International Settlements has given full backing to the development of central bank digital currencies, saying that they are needed to modernize finance and ensure big tech 
does not take control of money. Now, this is a huge push toward regulation, and that's the reason why the regulation must come in because they don't want big tech making their own currencies for their own platform and picking up a huge percentage of the population in a centralized digital currency. So they have to regulate the space to allow for the banks to be the first ones in. But we know that XRP is the chosen one. Again, the BIS says the most promising CDBC design would be one tied to a digital identity requiring users to identify themselves to access funds. Now, if again, you have watched my previous podcast, you will have seen me run through how PayID is linked in with all of this now known as PayString. How the whole picture is tying together. And we keep on going, my friends. Big Bank back Swift new ISO 2002 roadmap. And as you have seen before, you have here the Bank of China, Bank of New York Mellon, BNP Paribas, City, Deutsche Bank, and Standard Charter all on board. And you can see Ripple here shaping the future of cross-border payments the world is converging to a new global standard the de facto global data standard for modern payments ripple is now part of the iso 20022 standards hidden in plain sight let's keep this going because this gets even better volante is proud to have contributed to the u.s faster payments council recent paper on cross-border faster payments now look at this ripple was mentioned in the paper itself high value transactions as you can see now this gets even better because on the contributors was ripple's executive crave dewitt now you also know that craig is part of the us faster payments council as well and you can see here so is ripple because they are all tied together now don't forget volante is a huge player in this full picture as well utilizing ripple technology ripple infrastructure and at the root xrp as the settlement mechanism but let's keep this moving visa and paypal join crypto vc blockchain capital fund now why would they be doing that they've had plans within plans for years i'm bringing you over to this document here by interledger back from 2018 and as you can see here not only is this incredibly bullish but you have paypal and visa because they have been in the plan since day one my friends and they are actually part of the infrastructure that is building this all out. Treasury nominee will prioritize implementing crypto rules. Why would they be doing that if they don't have plans to utilize crypto on a global scale? Ask yourself that question. Regulation means acceptance. More acceptance is great for crypto. Good comment there. Now this was super bullish. <laughs> Victoria Cleveland talks about the evolution of payment systems in the UK. There are 12 months to go until we move to using a new global standard for processing payments a decision on whether to introduce central bank digital currencies will be made in due course but a significant program to in enhance the existing infrastructure is already well on its way to delivery and is set to start to make a real difference in the next 12 months the renewal of the real-time growth settlement service itself <laughs> It is all within the details, my friends. We are seeing a huge shift towards crypto, towards digital assets. XRP has been implemented at the root of the entire system itself, and it is undoubtedly going to be used in a substantial manner. Therefore, all we need to do is elicit patience. Now, you can see the current system is failing because just look at how much stock that Mark Zuckerberg is selling of Facebook he wants out because he knows what is coming a failing system a third of big investors believe Bitcoin is rat poison JP Morgan survey shows get the hell out of Bitcoin whilst you still can Goldman Sachs joins JP Morgan repo blockchain network remember my friends this has all just been happening in the past 
few days. This is all huge steps towards the digital infrastructure that is being built to birth this new economy. Official Israel held a test run for a digital shekel. Now let's keep this moving. Bipartisan crypto bills pass US House of Representatives again. The Blockchain Innovation Act and parts of the Digital Taxonomy Act were included in the broader Consumer Safety Technology Act. The US House of Representatives passed two crypto bills on Tuesday evening. It is on their main agenda, even if they are not showing it on the global scale because they still want to divert your attention away as much as possible whilst all of this goes on because they know the coming wealth transfer that is unfolding and they do not want you to be a part of it. Huge win for Ripple and XRP. This could reveal a lot and be used to show that XRP itself is not a security. The defendant's request for the SEC's internal trading policies is granted. The court finds that the information sought meets the low bar for relevance, including potentially with respect to the claims against the individual defendants. Now, what you have to understand with this case is that they are slowly giving us the positive news with regards to Ripple, but the whole case is planned because they need something in place to make you scared of accumulating the coins with utility, the coin that matters, which is XRP itself, because they don't want you to hold the digital gold, the digital gold dust. So this case will drag on for as long as it needs to, but you can see that they are slowly showing the narrative of the case and what is going to be its outcome. And it is going to come out of nowhere with everything else, with regulations, with all the banks ready, with the central bank digital currency, and the entire economy is going to flourish. But we're not done yet, my friends. The SEC is reportedly inquiring into the cryptocurrency trading business. Hmm, something very interesting going down there. Citigroup, who is a huge bank, launches a digital asset unit within its wealth management division why would they be doing that because they're getting the phone calls from other banks institutions because they want to grab a hold of this pie now all the big players are already in but they know these big players that there is a huge potential to make profits off of this coming transfer so if they position themselves properly they will be able to do just that now guys i'm going to start wrapping it up here because we have been through so much news it may indeed be enticing to trade your xrp from some other altcoins currently available ones that seem to be making big news partnership after partnership it's easy to forget xrp has been doing this for the past four years if not longer don't lose sight of the true value. I brought this up because it's important. Remember, for those of you who have been in the XRP community for the past four years or so, every single day we was watching news come out throughout 2017, throughout 2018, throughout 2019, throughout 2020, and this year with regards to moves that Ripple was making, R3, and all the other companies that were building upon the XRPL and also making the partnerships that needed to form the foundation and do all the plumbing that will allow for all the liquidity and the money to flow into XRP itself. So don't forget that when you see all of these new coins coming onto the scenes, all of these partnerships that they're making because XRP has already done it. Now finally, just to finish, I want to leave you with something to ease your soul, to fill you with love and to make you feel lighter for the day ahead. Don't rush the Almighty. Don't rush what He has planned for you. Don't rush through your supplication thinking that He will abide by your timing. No, your Creator has His own timing. Trust Him and the process. Learn to be patient and it will be worth it in the end. Now, if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to smash that like button down below because it helps out the genie so much and leave any comments, suggestions or anything running through your mind right now down in the comments below because I'll be reading through all of your comments and I will be replying to them in the coming episodes. So make sure you do that. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube, make sure you do so and come and watch all of my previous videos because you're going to need all of that prior knowledge going forward into this new age of 
the digital revolution, the digital era that is upon us. If you would like to support the genie, you can do so here by coming over to my Patreon and supporting me and my goals and my dreams for the Reborn platform as a whole. So you can do so. Link will be down below in the description. And my friends, if you do want to become a master of your financials and you want to be able to be a part of this great wealth transfer, you can come over to my website whereby you can start off with Master of the Cryptoverse, which will give you a step-by-step run-through of just how you can buy, store and trade digital assets most effectively. But if you want more knowledge and a deeper understanding of the financial markets, then you can also become a commander of your financial destiny. Make sure that you follow me on my Instagram at Reborn13. Follow me on my Twitter at Reborn13, both with a zero. And finally, my friends, make sure to come and join my Telegram genie reborn with a zero i am always posting in here including little gems so you do not want to miss out on the information that i put in here but i am going to start bringing it to a close there i hope you have enjoyed this episode so far and i hope that you are able to see the extent of what is actually going on when you put in the effort to see the details of the infrastructure that is unfolding before our eyes and i do not want any of you to miss out on this opportunity of this wealth transfer that is coming and it is an opportunity that won't be round for long so we must grasp it with both hands whilst we are blessed enough to be in this position to still be able to accumulate these digital assets at generational lows but i'm going to wrap it up there i thank you so much again for clicking on my video for supporting my channel for all your likes all your comments all your messages i truly truly appreciate them and i am so grateful for all your love and all of the time that you put in that you give towards the genie and the reborn 13 platform but i'm going to bring it to a close here thank you once again i will be back soon with more content just like this to come so make sure to subscribe and i will see you all soon goodbye